Hello, hello. Today I want to answer a quick question. I received it on Facebook and I've received it a few times and so I thought that I would go ahead and just answer it here so that I can uh, save this and archive it and also hopefully help some more people. Um, yeah, so here's the question. Hey Gabriel, what are the plant-based fertilizers that you use for NPK sources? For your veggies and flowers, is compost enough or additional fer additional fertilizer essential to growing plants? This is my second year of gardening, and last year I used a down-to-earth mix. Is there another brand and sources that you can recommend? Where to get the best deals? Okay, so here is my answer. Number one, the best, first and foremost, the best way that you can fertilize or amend your garden is going to be through a compost, a homemade compost, utilizing browns and greens. Now, all that means is you're using sources of, say, carbon, like wood chips. You're using things like uh, your greens, say grass clippings. Uh, coffee grounds are another great greens. You're using cardboard. Uh, so that's how I make my vegetable-based compost is I use grass clippings. I use vegetable scraps from the garden. I use cardboard that we have taken the tape off of, and then we just moisten it down. You can do a few things with the cardboard. You can shred it. You can really, but if you just lay it in there, it works out good. We use the grass clippings, cardboard. We use things like coffee grounds, or if we uh, dig up any soil or any sod around the farm, we'll also we'll, we will also throw that in there. I do a pretty non, um, I don't go too intensive with my turning or anything. I really don't turn my compost. Uh, the only thing I will do is I'll, I'll normally let it sit for about six months, but if I need some chunkier compost, some compost that hasn't been broken down enough, so maybe it's not really fine pieces, it's bigger pieces, uh, there's still some wood chips in there, I will go in, I'll turn it around, and I will take some of those uh, some of that out and I'll use it like I would a mulch. So that's the only time I do that. So I don't really turn it. If you want to have it done quicker, you can always turn it. You can always add some things in there uh, like soybean meal. Again, the greens, the grass clippings, things like that are going to really supercharge that compost and get it going. So that is the first and foremost, the best way that I find. And yes, that right there will um, will fertilize your garden. It will be fine if you're using things like heavy feeders, your kales, etc. Uh, you might need to go in and amend. If you're going to be growing those in the spring, you can amend before the spring. And if you go in for the fall, you can't amend again. I normally just go in, I'll add two wheelbarrow fulls to my 50 foot by 30 inch beds in the spring. And I normally find that that's fine throughout the growing season. You can add more if you need to, but normally that's enough. And then also if you're using a lower feeder, you know, one time is more enough. Like if you're growing just lettuce, uh, just amending once with that is fine. So yes, that is fine. If you do find that that compost is less than satisfactory, you find that, hey, I'm growing things, but it's not looking that great. You can go in and add some additives. Again, we do everything vegan here on the farm and those are the recommendations that I will give. And so yes, you can use things like um, the earth, down to earth fertilizers, you can add that into your compost, you can go in and just um, mix that in with your soil. But I find the best thing is to add it into the compost because if it can, becomes uh, ingrained in that compost, it won't leach out with um, the rainwater, it'll slow release, which is another great way, a great thing that we a great thing that we like about compost. And then um, so yes, yeah, so, so yes, you can add those in. You can use things like alfalfa meal, soy meal, all those different things. And I understand if you know, I'm telling you, we've got six months to go ahead and get things grow, or you know, start a compost pile. Well, we're here in uh, May, and so you don't have six months to get going for your garden. So uh, your best bet might be again to go with something like that Earthway or the Down to Earth brand, the vegan uh, fertilizers, and uh, go ahead and just amend the soil with that this sp this summer or this spring, and then go ahead and get started with your vegetable compost. And really, if you're talking, you know, I have a big space, so I have a big compost pile. But if you're someone that gardens uh, in a space that's a couple raised beds, you really don't need that much um, compost. You really don't need that much um, 
to amend your soil there, uh, the more the merrier a lot of times. But uh, yeah, so you don't need a ton. So that's my recommendation. Always go with a great homemade vegetable-based compost. If you can't do that, there's some great vegan options out there, such as the down-to-earth mix as a fertilizer. We stay away from all blood meal, bone meals, um, and manures. Uh, we like to keep it all vegan here and um, keep it pretty natural. So that's how we do it. We grow everything vegan and organically. So I hope that helps. If you have any more questions, make sure you hit the comment button and I will be sure to answer it. And uh, this is Plant-Based Gabriel, hoping to see you in another video very soon.